I have sinned. It's been five years since my last confession. What are the sins you have committed? Sorry, I got back as fast as I could. What'd you find? Nothing. What do you mean? There's nothing. She's got... Sorry, he's got no fingerprints, no record, no name. It's like he doesn't exist. I thought so. Here's that file you asked for. Nice work. Thanks. Look, we've already held him longer than we should. The boss wants him released. Yes, yes, we've met, but you, I'm unfamiliar with. Is this yours? Ugh, fake Louis Vuitton. I wouldn't own that shit. And, uh, the shoes? Ugh. It really is terrible what some people hide in their closets. Guns don't kill people. Bad fashion kills people. Is that a confession? Oh, darling, I'm shocked you could even suggest such a thing. I wouldn't be caught dead in them. Funny that, because uh, yesterday morning someone was. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! So, um, Mike, it is Michael, isn't it? Yes, Michael Hunt. And you are Alexis. I know a lot of ladies who'd like to drive a Lexus. Have you ever driven one, Detective Burns? What happened to you? Huh? Oh, oh, would you believe I fell off the fucking stage? Talk about over the fucking rainbow. Do you know these two men? Hmm. Their names are Trevor Fenton and Dougal McBain. Early yesterday morning, their bodies were found lying dead in a dumpster. The dumpster was outside the rat and handbag, the gay bar you were performing at. <laughs> Well, you obviously didn't go inside then, because that place is full of the same fucking dead bodies every weekend. Well, not these. Ten years ago, these men were dismissed of all charges regarding the murder of uh, William Fleming. In Gardens Park, I'm sure you know it. It's a well-known gay beat. Yeah, yes. I think I know it. We call it the ashtray. Would you like to know why? Because on Sundays, it's full of used butts. Tell me what you know about William Fleming. What member of the gay community doesn't know about William Fleming? I'm sure you've got a file on it. Although, since gay hate crimes didn't really exist back then, it's probably not a very large file. Oh, there's a file on it. Oh, really? Hmm. What well, does that file tell you that uh, Trevor and Dougal were good church-going Catholic boys? How at their trial, their former priest and teacher, one Father Hegarty, testified to what men of good character they were. Does that file also tell you that Father Hegarty said William Fleming was a predatory sexual deviant who got what he deserved? Father, I have had impure thoughts of another man. I see. Thou shalt not sleep with another man as with a woman. Leviticus 18.22 clearly states it is an abomination. I know, Father. I need help. There are places that can heal you. I know you are suffering, my son, but like our Lord Jesus Christ, our shepherd and his flock, stay true to the word of God, and it will guide you to righteousness. Thank you, Father Hegarty. Sounds personal. Well, when you grow up being told you're an abomination, and someone is killed for being like you to reinforce that message? Well, yes, it's a bit personal. As for William Fleming specifically, Christianity has its martyrs. We have ours. So you never knew William Fleming personally? 
I knew of him. Just as I know that the two men who bashed him to death were dismissed of all murder charges on a Twinkie defense. Uh, gay panic, they call it. A state of uh, violent but temporary psychotic panic suffered by a target of unwanted homosexual advances. Yes, we know what it is. Well, apparently, Trevor and Dougal suffered it at exactly the same moment when they were walking home from a baseball game. And they happened upon William in a park and then bashed him to death and disposed of his body like a piece of trash. <laughs> wow. Justice can be a two-faced bitch at times. So, why exactly am I here? We're just having a little chat, or are you going to charge me with something? Well, we yeah. were... William Fleming had an older brother, Ben, who served in the SAS. Wow. It says here he went missing in action three years ago. Assumed dead. Hmm. The wounds on Fenton and McBain indicate specialist military training, don't you think? Little old me is the butched up brother back from the land of Oz with a thirst for revenge. Very similar height, similar build. We haven't found any photos of Ben yet, but um, I have a hunch that when we do, there may be more than just physical similarities. So, if I did turn out to be the brother of young William, in what way would that give you reasonable suspicion? Do you have anyone that can attest to your whereabouts yesterday morning between 3 a.m. and 4 Haven't we been through this already? I was on stage in the land of jizz. We've checked your prints. You don't have any. No previous address, no credit cards, not even a parking fine. Given the victims were found right outside your club, you're exhibiting a facial wound that could have easily been sustained in a violent struggle, but neither you, the staff, nor any of its patrons claim to have seen anything. But what do you think happened? You know, diamonds aren't always the girl's best friend, especially when some guy comes out and he's like, he's really hot, he's a man, but then he's a guy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, Don't you dare touch that phone, Sandy. And put on some Broadway. Amazing and 
strong shall give up. It's time to right a wrong. But so you know it's more to me than just a clap, so don't cross. In knowing that Trevor and his fat little friend are dead. The shoe doesn't really fit. Are oh, you got a better explanation? Oh, God, I don't know. Maybe someone in this town just got fucking bored. Maybe you're right. Mm. It is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? An ex SAS soldier turned vigilante drag queen. But it sounds like a great act. Yeah, it does. Well then, your time is up, and I've got places to be and people to see you, so if you don't mind, now? For now, but I wouldn't go too far. Don't worry, I won't. And by the way, you can keep Toto, he's on the floor. Just remember, he is a vegan. two different kinds of thread, or have you forgotten Leviticus 19.19? And if God made you, I'm the silver stiletto. <laughs> and hell hath no fury like drag with a vengeance. Tempest set to flare on both the 
religious right and the gay left, police are urging the community to remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm.